Hi, I'm Vanessa. I'm the Associate Director at the Gap Year Association. Did you know that GYA offers college credit to students for Gap Year experiences? This may interest you if you are a Gap Year program provider, particularly if you are accredited or considering GYA accreditation. It may be of interest if you are an education consultant, a high school counselor, or a student or parent exploring the Gap Year option. In this video, I'm going to talk about the benefits to opting in for college credit to students, the requirements for programs, and the general course requirements for students. So for students, opting in for college credit can really round out the learning they do while on a gap year experience. Of course, the option to transfer in some college credit from Portland State University is a nice bonus. It's a good idea that students check with the registrar's office to confirm which courses transfer. Um, more on that a little bit later. Completing the coursework for students does not require a ton of extra work while they are on a program, so it can really be a win-win. GYA offers more than 15 PSU-approved courses. These typically fall into the 100 to 200 level general education requirement. Topics range from history to communications to climate change, um, a few management courses, just to name a few. Students and families do have the option to use 529 funds, both for program fees as well as the college credit fees. Programs benefit as they're really able to showcase this as an option to prospective students. How does it work for, for programs? Participating programs must be accredited by the Gap Year Association. If you need more information on GYA accreditation, check out Ethan's video next about the GYA standards of accreditation. Programs are not responsible for teaching course material or grading student assignments. The management of those tasks falls to GYA and our PSU approved instructors. It's these instructors of record that support students before, during, and after the program. They're responsible for grading student work and communicating with students once the programs finish. So what are the general requirements for students to complete the coursework? In this slide, you'll see that each, each course is structured in relatively the same way. Um, a student must complete a daily journal and do contact hours while they're on a program. Um, once they return home, they'll complete a final paper um, and finish any required reading that needs to be done for the, for the final paper and the overall assignments. The final paper will account for 70% of the course grade and the journal will account for 30% of the overall course grade. If a student opts in to take multiple courses, they only need to complete one journal for all courses they take. One of the common questions we get is, will the credits transfer? We've seen that they do transfer well, although not 100%. We often recommend students to check for equivalencies with a counselor or a registrar's office prior to selecting their courses. Our website has a lot more information and a detailed FAQ section um, if you're interested in learning more. So please visit our website, gapyearassociation.org slash college credit, or email me, vanessa at gapyearassociation.org for more information. Thanks for watching and thank you for attending the GYA conference. See you soon.